Hello everyone, my name is Ideal and you're watching Ideal's Fish Mania. So today we're back again at our local peat swamp uh, looking for fish. Uh, our target today is to survey Paros Formenus population for the Paros Formenus project. And I'm looking for some uh, new breeding stocks for chocolate grammies and beta libida. So let's get to it. Gang, the first fish of the day we got. If they can stay still. This is Trigonopoma gracili, uh, cousin of the red line uh, rasbora. It's quite common here. I never caught the red line rasbora here. I don't know if they're around. This is Trigonopoma gracili. Uh, the cousin, the red line is Trigonopoma pausisophratum. This is gracili. So, okay, second fish. This is a new Homoloptera johorensis. Uh, there it is. A bit odd. I got it at uh, snow for and uh, stagnant water. This is like stagnant water. It's not flowing. I got them here. What else? Yeah, this. Huh? Here's is something <laughs> you don't usually find. This is beta imbellis. Beta imbellis in black water. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's not uh, that weird because uh, we we found beta imbellis in black water a few times before, but uh, you don't usually find them. Uh, usually you'll find hippocydrus, uh, livida, and bellica. But this is beta imbellis. I think I think because of the high water embellished from that side of the uh, plantation usually at that side it's not black water at the oil palm plantation there this is just a normal swarm you usually find lots of embellish there but when the water rise the embellish uh, they migrate to the black water that's that's why I think we got them because a few times before we got embellish in black water is during the high water so this is embellish in black water okay okay we got CG where it is where are you Right, Mr. Fayette here has got Spherictus osphrominoides. Looks to be a male, judging from the straight chin. This is a male. So, I'm gonna take this one to stock up on our breeding stocks. There it is. Okay, nice. So far, I have around, let's see, uh, three pairs of chocolate grammies and some fries. No, they're not actually fries anymore. They're about that big. But still small, so I'm going to stock up on new uh, breeding stocks to breed. And I breed them the way, the easiest way is in the styrofoam foam box. Styrofoam foam box is... The, the easiest way to breed fish. <laughs> I never managed to breed them in aquariums, but in in styrofoam box, they just breed. <laughs> All right, let's go. Got something 
interesting here we got a snake oh, there it is this looks like a uh, hipsy hipsiscopus plumbia but i'm not sure because it has a line here i'm not sure it looks like hipsy hipsiscopus uh so i'm gonna take it back first uh try to id it and then I'm gonna release it back here because uh, this probably be protected uh, it's a type of water snake you get it in the water it's not a clue bread this is not a clue bread yeah i think this is hips hipsiscopus plumbia uh yeah so we'll bag it up first okay now uh, mr fayat here has caught there Look at that male Paros Romanus Havei. Look at the colors. Where? Where, where? There it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm gonna take this home for breeding. So, alright, gang. Uh, we get, we're getting uh, later into the day. Uh, we've got quite a lot of Paros Romanus. Uh, some nice size beta livida there, Mr. Fayette got beta livida. Female. Female, that's a female. So right right there. Uh I got I don't know how many, I forgot to count, but some beta livida and paros promenus havei. These are for uh, the breeding project at home. Uh, I'm increasing some tanks in, in my fish room adding more tanks for breeding so that's why I'm here looking for more breeders because the one that at my house uh, they, are, they are trying to breed but the price is really small so let's see what Mr. Fayette got okay, okay, put it in, put it in. and this uh -huh. This looks like a female beta livida. Yeah, this is a female beta livida. Looks like it's full of eggs. Yeah, you can see the white uh, ovaries. If you look closely, you can see white color at the belly. So this is a good uh, specimen for me to breed at home. I'm going to take this one. Right, so uh, we have joined with some ichthyologists from local university. Right here we have the famous kampung ichthyologist, uh, Mr. Ilham Nur Hakim. So he and his team there, over there, uh, yeah, they've got quite a lot of chocolate brownies. They're here looking for specimens for their research. So you want Fiji? Yeah, so these are the CGs, uh, chocolate brownies, Spherectis osprominoides. They caught at the other side of the road. Uh, I'm gonna take this home uh, to breed. First, I need to sort out the males from the females. Uh, and then, then Mr. Fayette caught what seems to be a climbing perch. Whoops! Let's see. Here's the climbing perch, uh, Anabas testudinius. I think I think I pro pronounce it right. But this is a fish from the Anabas species, the climbing climbing perch. Ah, 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 kalau kromana. Ah, kalau puyu, puyu, puyu. Okay. So we're going over there. Let's see what else they have. Let's go. Can I? Okay. Uh, what's the What's the What's the What's this? 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 What's
There it is. Rosbora Kalakroma. This is just for display in my tank. This is not for okay. breeding. Because these are really hard to breed. I don't know if anybody has ever managed to breed this fish. So what are they doing here? Uh, looks like they are sorting the fish. Uh, separating them. Uh, dividing them to which uh, researchers want. Different researchers, researchers they are doing different studies. So yeah, this is the place we got. This is the habitat in which uh, most of the fish were caught. The black water fish form. Uh, the water is thin black as I told you in the last video because of tannins from the decaying black matter. Uh, the leaves, the wood, uh, the peat soil release tannin that makes the water turn uh, really really dark tea color most, most like coffee color not tea color tea color is really lighter than this uh, I've got quite a few fish we got here including uh, chocolate grammies spherictus of strominoides we got uh, beta livida we got uh, part of strominus havei uh, they got Maestus by Maclatus, the twin spotted catfish. Um, the small puntius johorensis, uh, the striped barb. Uh, yeah, quite a lot, I can't remember all of them, but there's quite a lot. So this is from Nigeria. Uh, this is from Nigeria. Oh. Study what? Why are you study? Okay. Ecology. 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 Yeah. Yes, ecology student. Yeah. Uh, he's from Nigeria and studying ecology in Malaysia. Yeah, no, I do. That's, that's nice. So next time we can study ecology in Nigeria. <laughs> Hopefully one day we can go look for fish in Nigeria. <laughs> Look at this Livida. This is a male. You can tell by the long anal fin. This is a and this is a male beta livida with black black and green spots there. Let's see if we can have a close up. There it is. Oh, so this is a good size for breeding. But this this fish is going oh sorry is going to research. So what else we have? This is Lucio Cephalus pulcher. The Malay call it Kepalisetan or the devil's head. Uh, this is Anabas Testudinius climbing perch. Uh, uh, Neo Homoloptera Johorensis there. So what else? What else we have in here? Uh, oh, this this was a snake. What's here? Uh, there's Bora Kalakoma, some more Kalakoma. Yeah, quite nice. Oops. All right, gang. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. We're heading home now. So it's cool that we meet some uh, ichthyologists. Our local ichthyologist. Uh, so to recap, today we found quite a lot of fish. Even though the water is high, we got uh, spheric taste of sperminoides, the chocolate grammy, uh, paros rominus havi, beta livida, beta hypocyprus, and a lot of other fish. So that's all for today. I'll see you next time in another episode of Idol's Fish Mania. Bye bye.